this particular video, I finally share something I've never shared before. How much money I make on YouTube or that I've made on YouTube. In 2019, in 2020, if you are a content creator in Kenya, the amounts that you see here, are they the same on your channel? I'd love to do a comparison of the same in terms of what is your CPM and RPM and we'll look at that in this particular video. Let's get those credits. Now I started this channel in 2017. I got monetized in January of 2019. So I've currently been monetized for the past two years. Now I want to share with you my statistics which is something I've never done. But if you like this type of video, then please share in the comments below whether you'd like to be seeing this as a monthly video where we look at the analytics of this particular channel. Of course, taking you on the journey with me. Now in 2019, now we jump straight into the computer and you can be able to see some of the stats. Of course, I'll hide just a few so that I keep you here for a while. But as we go into the stats, you, I can be able to see that in 2019, I got 300,000 views in 2019. Actually, the full amount is 302,500 302, views. And the watch time that year was... 19,800 watch hours and I gained 9,068 subscribers. Now in 2020, we'll get to the money. Don't worry about the money. We'll get to the money. Now in 2020, I did 307,140 views. I did a 19,786 hours. I did 8,000 982 subscribers and we'll talk about the money so in terms of views between 2019 and 2020 they're almost the same it was a difference of about 5,000 views in 2020 there are more views but in terms of watch hours I had 19,801 and then in 2020 I had 19,786 which is a difference of about 15 hours. So almost the same performance. And then in terms of subscribers, there's a difference of about 100 subscribers in both years. But in terms of the money, in 2019, I got about 670 US dollars. That is from January to December. And then in 2020, I got... $806 from YouTube. Now, in one year, with a difference of 5,000 views, there is a difference of about $130 in the second year. Of course, I currently do not survive on the YouTube money that I get. Of course, that is what I would love, that YouTube is the one feeding me, paying all of my bills, but hopefully we can make that happen in 2021. But I want to go a bit deeper in terms of the money. If you're a content creator, this will actually be good information for you. So what I'll actually do is go under revenue. And there are three different statistics. So the first one is estimated revenue, which gives you from all the money that you're supposed to get from YouTube. So for me, the recording of this video is on the first. So 806 is probably the final amount. And then there's a second statistic that is known as RPM. For my channel, it is 2.64. So if you're a content creator, kindly share below what your RPM is. And what RPM means is that for every 1,000 actual views that are there on the channel, how much money I have earned. So RPM is the actual amount earned per a thousand views. 
Now, the statistic that most people are aware of is called CPM, which means that every single ad that plays, how much on average is being paid for a thousand ads that have been shown on your videos. So for instance, if someone watches your video and then they see two ads, that is counted as two monetized, monetizable playbacks. So for every a thousand of those, how much money on average is being spent on your channel? Now for every single channel, this amount is going to be different and it depends on a number of things. It depends on how much advertisers are willing to pay in order to stand in front of your audience. So that depends as well with the kind of audience that you have. So I will show you the audience that I personally have that has enabled me to get the CPM that I get. So first of all, in terms of gender, 40% of my audience is female and 60% is male, which for my particular channel is really special because male channels tend to have a very male dominated audience, but this audience is mostly balanced. So having 60, 40 is really good. And then in terms of the age of my audience, 45% of you guys are between 25 and 34, which is also my age bracket. And then we have a big number of 18 to 24, which are 35%. So 80% of the audience is between 18 and 34. So those are the people that we are actually reaching. Then the next thing that actually affects your CPM is where exactly your audience is. So my biggest audience in the year 2020 was in Kenya, 66%. And then surprisingly, 3% of my audience is in the United States. Then I have another 2% each from Uganda, Nigeria, and South Africa. Those are my top five countries. Now, one other thing that is really interesting in terms of revenue is which videos actually brought in the most money in 2020. So that's what you can find under revenue and a top earning videos. So that's what I'll actually go and say see more. Now, this particular statistic helps me to know which kind of videos make me the most money and which of them have the highest CPMs so that I can do more of those. So I'll show you exactly what that means as we look here. So what we'll actually do here, make this chart monthly. The estimated amount made. Now, the first two videos in terms of revenue, actually the first four videos in terms of revenue are videos that I did in 2018. So small business that can make you rich, loan apps in Kenya, successful business ideas in Kenya, businesses that you can start with a thousand shillings. All these are videos I did in 2018. And in 2020, the highest brought in almost $200. Then the next one brought 81. The next did 71, 60. And then a video I did this year brought in $38. How to file KRA returns online in 2020. So what that tells me is as long as I continue creating content on the channel and content that people are going to watch, then I can be sure that even later, years to come, all these videos will continuously be making me money. So my top four videos of money that was brought in in 2020 are videos I did in 2018, not even 2019. In 2018, I had less than a thousand subscribers. So these are also the videos that most of you probably discovered me by and they continuously bring me money. But one thing that I want you to actually look at that is really interesting 
when I was looking at these stats is that my number two video had 10,000 estimated monetized playbacks, which means that 10,000 ads ran, and then that gave me $81. But under that, I have 21,000 ads that brought in $71. So one video with 10,000 ads brought in more money than another one with double the number of ads, but less money. So this tells me that the topic itself is the reason why this particular video is really successful. And one is on loan apps. So it has to do with loan apps. And then what I found interesting is that most likely the loan apps themselves are the ones that are advertising in front of that particular video. So they will fight to just be in front of this recommendation list that I actually placed in. And I've been thinking of even doing uh, another video on the same topic. That would be really interesting to watch. And the next one that I really liked is this particular video that I did in 2020, which I'm actually showing to you, is that the number of views that it has is 17,373. But in terms of revenue, it's brought in $38. And if we go back to the estimated monetized playbacks, they're 18,423. So this particular video, although it has 17,000 actual views, the video itself has over 18,000 actual ads that rain on the video. So this tells me that there are people who watch this particular video who were shown more than one ad per view. So that tells me that I am at a special place in terms of the money that I'm making on the channel itself. And there are videos which have less views than the monetized playbacks that are there. What usually happens for most people is that if someone has a hundred views, then they probably had 30 ads that ring or 40 ads. For my channel, there are particular videos that have over a hundred percent of the views that actually got ads. If you look at the videos that I have done, Loan Apps in Kenya has the highest playback CPM, meaning that advertisers are flocking to that particular video and they are scrambling to just be in front of that particular video. Even though this particular video may not have the most views at the end of the month, it can be the one that is bringing me the most money at the end of the day. In terms of the types of ads that run on the channel, I hear so many people telling their audience that if they don't skip ads, then you get paid better. The truth of the matter is that may not necessarily be true in the true sense of the word. There are ads that pay when people click on them and do an action. Those pay much better. But most of the ads that are there on the platform are what are known as skippable ads. So for me, that is 87% of the ads that show up on my channel. Then you have display ads which show on desktop, you can be able to see an ad. Then there are bumper ads as well and non-skippable video ads. For most of my videos, I have been avoiding the non-skippable ads because there are some people who put in like a song, three minute ad and it's non-skippable. Yet you came in to watch my content. So I'd rather I have lesser money, which is more money in skippable ads. Anytime you see a video on this particular channel, or an ad similar to one that I place on this video, if it's skippable, kindly skip it so that you can be able to go back to the video. Now these things I'm showing you in terms of money on the channel are not supposed to make you start comparing where you are with what you have with what i am experiencing 
but to encourage you first of all that it is possible to actually grow and start making money passively in the lifetime of this channel i've made close to fifteen hundred dollars and that for me is something that i'm really proud of it may be a very protracted time but it's something that i actually enjoy doing and something that i'd advocate for everyone to actually try start your channel start with your growth and then you will see success on the platform there's another video that i did on how to start from scratch on youtube i'll place it up here in the end screen and then i'll see you in the next one